Good morning, everybody. It is 554 here in Florida and blessings and peace and love to everybody. Okay, you guys, I just want to bring you a little news this morning that just popped up on my feed. Um, well, well, we'll start here. Millions dead in a war with China? A disturbing and dark prediction reveals the mass devastation that could result from such a scenario. The director of the Australia-China Relations Institute at UTS, James Lawrenceson, estimated we'd see millions dead in such a conflict, plus a global economic disaster. But it's not like anyone's preparing for such a war, right? Newly appointed Australian Defence Minister Peter Dutton used Anzac Day, Australia's National Day of Remembrance, for some good old-fashioned fear-mongering against China. China is militarising ports across our region. Uh, we need to uh, deal with all of that, and uh, that's exactly what we're now focused on. But what's more troubling is that Dutton said that a conflict with China could not be ruled out. The prospects of uh, a battle over Taiwan are growing, could happen quite soon. Do you share that view? I, I don't think it uh, should be discounted, I think. And the Australian Home Affairs Secretary, Mike Pizzullo, delivered a message that expanded on that. The Home Affairs Secretary has warned drums of war are beating as Australian tensions with China deepen further. When one of Australia's most powerful national security figures says the drums of war are beating, what exactly does he really mean? He also warned we must prepare to send off troops yet again to fight. Whoa. Whoo! Danger, danger, danger. First of all, how does Australia plan on fighting China? Australia's military budget is around $40 billion, while China's is $250 billion. Australia has just under 60,000 active personnel on duty, while China has around 2.3 million. Australia has around 450 military aircraft. China has around 3,000. Australia has 59 tanks. China has 3,500. Australia's got 3,000 armored vehicles. China has 33,000. Not to mention Australia doesn't have any nuclear weapons. China has around 300. So a war with China would likely not end great for Australia, meaning Australia would have to drag others in with it, and that could lead to a global conflict. That's probably why China reacts to Australia's threats a bit more reasonably. We hope the Australian side will fully recognise the high sensitivity of the Taiwan issue, the foreign ministry declared. And what is the Taiwan issue? The root of the conflict goes back to the early 20th century, when today's People's Republic of China was called the Republic of China, ruled by a nationalist government that was eventually overthrown by the Communist Party in 1949. The nationalist government fled to the island of Taiwan, and ever since then, the two governments have been at odds over the status of the island with tensions flaring up from time to time. It is a complex issue, but the last thing this region needs is some clumsy politicians from Australia or anywhere else making threats that can severely escalate tensions and open the possibility of mass suffering and destruction. Take okay, you guys. Um, So I just wanted to share that with you that just popped in my feed a few minutes ago. And, uh, well... I just want to tell you, and just in case you don't know, that the USA is very good allies with Australia, and there has been some conflict going over there, uh, going on over in uh, Taiwan also. But anyways, um, let's go to another clip. Now you're probably not going to be able to hear this. Um, again, this is from Ripley. The other one was from RT, and thank you so very much. Uh, for keeping up on the news for people around the world. Uh, so anyways, let's take a listen. This, this is about Mexico, you guys. Uh, and, well, they just want their rights here in the U.S. of A. Here we go. That's the Mexican flag flying. And, uh, well, they're all in the streets protesting and... And, 
and they want citizenship. And um, I really have no thoughts on that. But what I do have thoughts on is that our beloved sister Hilda Cynthia, and I call her little Pooh Bear because she is my little Pooh Bear and I love her so, so much. Uh, she had um, uh, been given, I'd say about a year and a half ago, um, from the Holy Spirit, a message to me. And I was supposed to look up to Noctolin. And I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> but anyways, um, there's a lot going over there, uh, going on over there and has been about the UFOs um, since Roswell. And I believe the government's involved um, over there and has been uh, about that situation. But also, I'm just looking at the migrant si situation here. And um, I don't know if this has anything to do with anything. But I'm looking at all these little possibilities. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you this morning. Of, you know, wars, wars, and rumors of wars. And then some things that I feel are getting ready to take place. And um, let's just be looking up, y'all. Because all these things must happen for us to go home. So don't be afraid. Just know that I have been told at least twice that, no, war is not for us. We will be snatched out of harm's way. And don't you listen to anybody when they tell you anything different, okay? Anyways, God bless you. And uh, give me your thoughts. Amen and amen.